Whoa, this is it. It's not very big, but it's pretty nice. Kitchen's relatively new. There's laundry, which isn't something bigger apartments have. Not all of them. And it's a clean looking place with a decent amount of sunlight. You can say that this place is small, but you can't say that it's not nice. And to hammer that point home, we're gonna compare this to a larger, uglier apartment that's the exact same price. But it's 16 degrees out, coldest day of the year, and I had problems getting out of the house this morning. What is making all this noise? This car alarm will just not stop going off. There's the culprit right there outside my window. Which one do you want? This one. You show me, which one? Marker. Yeah, uh. This one. Violet, you need paper for those markers. Look at that, a nice blank sheet of paper. There you go. So much better than the wall. In this box is a piece that has to go on this. It still works, but the battery is like, since we moved into this apartment five years ago. So this is a battery. Um, I have to figure out how to get this into the handle of this. I'm kind of a caveman with electronics. I break things. Out. Why is this so confusing? Does it look like I got the right one? It said I got the right one. Okay, new one works. All right, so it's installed, but now's the most important part. Will it charge? Okay, the little light's on, that's a good sign. And I didn't destroy anything or make more of a mess than what already exists. <laughs> It's freezing out today. Look at that, 13 degrees. Part of the reason I spent so much time fixing the vacuum was to avoid this. And it was kind of fun. It probably would have been less fun if I broke a bunch of stuff. There's also a really old apartment which I was told has been completely restored. So similar theme to what we just did. Let's hope I wasn't lied to. Here we are, East Harlem, 116th Street. That's where this stop is. And luckily the place we're headed to is three blocks this way on 119th Street. It being freezing today had absolutely nothing to do with my decision to tour something close to the train, I promise. But speaking of things next to the train, look at all these businesses. This is a good area of town if you're looking for convenience. Is being near a Dunkin' Donuts and a Domino's convenient. It might be convenient, I just don't think it's actually pizza. Their marketing carefully refers to it as oven baked goodness, not pizza. They've got some good lawyers working here at Domino's. There's candy stores, there is a little juice bar, and a place where you can offload some valuables to help pay your rent. Don't tell your landlord you need to sell your guitar or your drums in order to make rent, because then he'll wonder what you're gonna do next month. Is that bag real? It might be. Not bad. Two dollars instead of the five dollars I would have paid downtown. And look at how quiet things got. We're a few blocks away from where the train is. The only issue with that is if your goal is to move to New York City and live in a crazy part of town where there's just non-stop action, this might not be it. If you're me, candy stores, delis, pizza parlors, that's all the excitement I can handle. It also looks like there's a school. What could be more exciting than knowledge? Not a whole lot. Are we learning anything from this video? Um, I'm not sure if you are, put a, 
comment, let me know. I think I just learned that Jeep makes yellow. Nice looking ride, I bet it gets tickets. Definitely it's more exciting than this boring Porsche. And every time I see a base model Porsche, I just get so disappointed because they made that for people who just want the Porsche name on something. They don't want the actual performance and the price tag that comes with owning it. This is where we're headed today. The performance price tag associated with this one bedroom is $2,100. So uh, let's go see if it's worth it. Of note, we are across the street from the police station. Maybe that's why it's so quiet. And that up there is Metro North. The train's not going by, so I can't tell you if it's loud or not. But even if it is, it's all the way down there at the end of the block. <laughs> An interesting apartment. What it appears to lack in modern finishes, it makes up for in size. This place is one of the biggest I've seen for this rent. It also appears, or sounds rather, really quiet. Been here for a few minutes, kind of putting my stuff down, haven't heard that train. And we are like one and a half floors up. This is what the view looks like. Sunny, I guess. Okay, that's the train going by. You know what, that's not bad at all. I've been on streets where the traffic was louder. This is the living room. It looks like it comes with a free closet. This will work for jackets and stuff. Plus you could get more of these and put them in other parts of the apartment. But I don't know if you'll need to do that because this room is actually uh, just on the other side of the kitchen, that's where that door goes. And look at this, it's basically like a pass-through closet. You got some shelves over here. Over here we've got ourselves a door. Okay, so there's another closet in here. That right there's where we came in, and then this right here is the living room. We are looking at 12 feet 6 inches by 9 feet 8 inches. You could work with this. Over by those floorboards, that's where you could put the entertainment center. Right over here, and then on the opposite wall you could put in a big couch. Against this wall over here, and then in this little area you could probably get a kitchen table. That might make a lot of sense. We've also got another closet right here next to the door that's useful so far I think you can make the case that it's not a pretty place but it is big I'm not sure if this is gonna be the final form of the kitchen or not boy this refrigerator is atrocious maybe that's why this sticker says remove I guess they're gonna throw it out so whoever rents this is gonna end up with a new fridge there's a little bit of counter space next to the sink the stove is super basic um, but it matches everything else in here look at this the intercom is actually behind the uh, fridge <laughs> Um, the bathroom kind of matches the kitchen. The good news is that it's big. There's a lot of room to move around in here, that's for sure. Sink is big. We've got ourselves a medicine cabinet. All right. There's also a window here, which is nice. It'll be easy to air out the steam after you take a shower or a bath. Beneath the sink, we've also got ourselves a little bit of storage, and then if you hear any hissing, that's actually from this radiator. This is one of those old school designs, but there is heat coming out. It's fairly warm in here. I just don't feel like taking off my jacket. I'm a moron. It turns out this isn't actually the place that we were supposed to see. The other one is a couple of blocks away. Back down on 116th Street, and these two places, they're the exact same price. Boy, today is not the right day to be making mistakes like that. It's too cold. All right, here we go. Oh, this looks nicer already. All right, I think we could all agree that for the same amount of money, it's probably the better apartment. Closet's still not clean yet. But you know, it'll get cleaned and everything else here looks like within the last year or two it was completely redone. It's small, but like, look at that, you got a dishwasher. Something's gonna go there. Oven and fridge look pretty decent. Microwave's nice. It's 
crazy that they fit it in, but somehow they did. There's like a perfect cutout for the laundry, and there's also a perfect cutout for the sink. Look at this little area right here. The windows in this place actually have a view, and it's kind of a tight squeeze, but the sink is big. You can brush your teeth. And look, I actually am not afraid to touch the medicine cabinet. It looks like it's completely brand new. Only complaint some might have, no bathtub. This is a standing shower, but I think it works. Do you really need a tub? Some people definitely do. Um, but the size of this place, it is a little bit smaller. 11, oh, one foot. This is malfunctioning. All right, that's better. 13 feet by 11 feet, three inches. That's the living room. And I think that the best you're gonna do is like a table, maybe a small couch. That should all fit. And there's also a little coat closet right over here by the front door. It is a little slim, but you can see your stuff at all times. That's a feature. But the best feature here has to be this bedroom. Look at how sunny it is. We're looking out over 116th Street. We're on the fifth floor. And even though it looks like this was converted from a studio, it's not bad. Dimensions are 10 feet, four inches by seven feet, 10 inches. Definitely enough space for a queen size bed and probably over here against the wall, maybe you could have like a dresser next to where the closet is. Right over here. And speaking of the closet, it's got two spots to hang stuff. If it were up to me and I had to pick one of these two, I would go with the smaller place, but that's not possible for everybody. So let me know in the comments which of these two spots is your favorite. If you want to rent one, I'll have the agent's info below. And then pick another video here or here, and I'll see you in the next one.